Hello everyone. Um, first of all, <laughs> I felt the need to apologize for looking um, homeless, as I call it. <laughs> um, it's the weekend, so I usually don't um, do videos on the weekend because I'm usually just putzing around my um, nightgown and everything. And uh, I think it's because like during the week I have to wear like my work clothes and makeup and everything, and so like during the weekend I do the exact opposite, pretty much. <laughs> So, um, sorry about that, but I wanted to make a video today because it's Ryan's birthday. <laughs> I have had him a year as of today. I thought it was a 10th. Um, I'm glad I checked. It is the 11th because I was like, that would have been odd for the 10th to fall on a Saturday to like fall on Saturday last year and this year. Um, two years in a row. That's not what I meant to say. Anyway, it's his birthday, had him a year, and I still love him, and um, I've just been thinking about things lately, about how, like, when I first got into the hobby, how much I, uh, how, I don't know, um, I guess basically that I was trying so hard not to be a noob about everything, because I hate that, I hate that about like everything I get into, I don't like being like, um, make, you know, newbie mistakes or, and stuff like that. So I try very hard not to, and I think in trying hard not to, I, um, extra did <laughs> newbie stuff. Like for instance, um, downing buying him, that, um, video is still up, um, but, uh, it's embarrassing, but I keep it up so that people know, like, you know, all the things you go through sometimes, um, when you're, especially when you're new at this hobby. Um, <clears throat> uh, I feel like a lot of people, when they're new, they kind of go through the same thing, um, about cost and about letting what other people think about their dolls get to them like the generalized things though like I haven't had anyone outright go your doll whichever doll I have is like a piece of crap <laughs> they have said like generalized things like they don't like dolls though which is fine because to be perfectly honest I mean their sculpts are very stylized and sort of weird and I think that's why I like them anyway so it shouldn't matter um, but I let it get to me and I keep thinking about that lately and how just stupid it was to let that get, get to me. I shouldn't have let it get to me and I I regret it getting to me because I regret how I felt then and how I felt for a, a couple months there even um, about him in particular. Um, the rest of my dolls are um, either not as well known so they don't usually have someone against the company or um, their, like my student doll, which most people don't have much against them. Quality maybe, but that's a different thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I've had them a year, and so I now consider myself in the hobby an actual year. Um, I've been in the hobby, I was in the hobby since September of last year, but... Um, I'll now consider this my year. <laughs> and it's his year too. Yay! Happy year. Um, and I thought also while well, I'm saying happy birthday to him, who I love, um, I'll give updates. First of all, um, I got Cecile back. Um, I got her back from Spampy and she's friggin' cute. <laughs> I love the outfit and Spampy included shoes. Um, I don't know what size the shoes are for. She had to cut them in the back a little bit, but no one sees that, so I don't um, care. <laughs> they must have been for um, a different sort of doll, though. I'm not sure who, though. And then I um, also redid her face up, which you can't really see too well because she's like, she's normal pink skin, but she keeps coming off blindingly white when I try and take a picture of her. So, uh, yeah, it's been weird but I redid her face up and I like it much better than both 
um, her first attempt, which is my first face ever and the most awful thing you've ever seen. And I like it better than the second one because in the second one, the blushing got really like dusty and I'm not sure, um, I got better, I've gotten better, I mean, at doing blushing so it's not so, um, dusty and dirty looking, so to speak. So, she looks much better. Um, I'm still not 100% satisfied with it, but it's probably going to be a long while before I am. <laughs> so, I redid her face up. I also made her wig. Oops, put it over here. I made her wig. Um, the fur is not as long as I wanted it to be, so I'm going to try and find more fur um, so it can be longer. I may also try and add to it, but it's such a small wig that I'd rather try and find longer uh, fur for the initial wig than try and add to it because it's tiny. Um, let's see what else. I also finally did my um, Belzone Mose uh, face up. Um, I meant to put eyes in everything, but I just woke up like a half hour ago and I was trying to have them dry overnight. The gloss. Um, I actually have done it twice. This is the second attempt. Um, the first time I did it, I wasn't very happy. He had brown lips and apparently brown lips just don't work. Um, not for me at least. Um, I wanted them to be more pinky and his blushing to be less, um, Again, it was kind of dirty looking um, because I put brown in it, but I didn't mix it very well. Um, so, like, it looked bad, I think. <laughs> and um, so I redid it, um, especially after I saw um, it was one, actually two, I'm going to say, um, Dolls and Lows that had the factory face up. And they were just beautiful. Um, I think Dolls End has gotten better at their face ups or something because they looked gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I got kind of jealous over that. I even wrote, um, I wrote a journal and on my deviant art about it. Um, I was jealous because, um, not because I was like, oh, like, um, I want their doll or I would blah, blah, blah. I was just jealous of the. Um, face up ability I guess versus mine <laughs> and I'm not a professional at all so I don't even know why I let it get to me <laughs> but um whatever it's past now I redid it and I fixed um two of the things well three of the things that really bothered me about the first one um which was the blushing the eye makeup was a little wonky um there was like a lot of red in the um eye corner I guess I don't know what that's called and um the lips which the brown just wasn't working so I fixed that um let's see I have not done Mr. Brightside's face up yet I'm waiting for his eyes from um, Mako eyes to um arrive um once they do I'm going to match um I want to give him eyeshadow which I think is kind of um which would be kind of neat for a Sabbath to have. <laughs> um, but I want the eyeshadow to match his eyes. So I want to see them in person. Um, people have been getting their orders in. And they've been really, really pretty. Um, so I don't regret the purchase. It was only $25. And it was buy one, get one free. I got him two pairs of eyes to try. If one doesn't work, I will either um, try it and then like save them for another doll. Or maybe sell them for really, really cheap. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so he's not done. Um, and then as for stuff I've ordered, well, it's the holidays, so I haven't been able to order much of anything. Um, but the one thing I did order is my first off topic for DOA doll. I was nervous about getting her because she was off topic, and I like sharing my dolls. And hi, Pablo. <laughs> I love sharing my dolls, and um, I was I was like, man, I won't be able to share on DOA, but it's okay because um, um, there's plenty of other places to share, like Flickr, DeviantArt. Um, I'm also now at Dairyland um, Forum too, so there's there. But um, she's a Leak World Ariana Ariana. 
think that's how you pronounce it. Um, <laughs> she, um, let's see, I put her on a, a four month layaway, I believe. Yes, I put her on a four month layaway. I plan to pay her off sooner, but since she was a limited winter item, I wanted to go ahead and put something down on her. So I went ahead and put her on the four month layaway. That should be able to pay her off probably, uh, if not January, then I'm aiming for completely paying her off in February. And I'm very excited to get her. She's going to be one of um, um, Junie's, actually. She's one of her friends, uh, one of her fae friends. It turns out Junie, um, as part of her character, has like um, fae friends that only she can see. So like... Um, I'm planning to get like a whole cast of like kind of weird fae dolls to try and supplement that out. Um, one's going to be a Red and Soul Ming um, and Leak World Ariana. And I'm going to possibly get um, a Doll Chateau um, doll to be another one of them. But I'm not sure if I want um, the new one they came out with. The weird like... Um, she has four legs, and <laughs> and uh, I just thought that was so neat, but I don't know if I can have her because her head has, um, instead of detachable moose ears, it has moose ears sculpted into it, and I just have this big fear that those are just going to, like, you look at them weird, and they'll just break. <laughs> so, I'm still not sure, or maybe I'll swap out the heads, we'll figure it out. Um... But, yeah, so that's tentative plans right now. But until next year, I'm not sure what I'll be doing because um, I have to first get my Zoom layaway over because that is um, a lot of money every month and it doesn't leave any wiggle room, really. Um, the only reason I was able to put my um, Liquid Dariana on layaway is because by accident, I got some overtime. So, I mean, it was deserved, but um, we're off overtime. Like, it's supposed to not be happening, but it keeps happening by accident because the volume went, had a spike <laughs> at work. So, uh, yeah, once that's over, I'm going to try and figure out a concrete idea for what I want to actually do next year. Um... I know it won't be as many dolls as this year, which is fine with me. <laughs> um, I only was able to get the dolls I have because of the overtime I was getting during the project. So, in reality, um, three of these dolls, no, four of these dolls wouldn't be here if it weren't for overtime. And that's my doll chateau dolls, my Sum Sabic, um, and my doll zone Mo. You would not have been here either. In fact, Judy would is a little questionable too um, because I, know, I didn't have much overtime when I got her um, but I don't know. I probably would have kept putting her off because she was on the list um, of dolls I definitely wanted to get but I don't think I would have got her without overtime. So. So I probably would have had the dolls that I was supposed to only have, which is Fry, Vi, and Elia. Those are the only dolls I was supposed to have. Cecile was free with Elia, so she was a free surprise, but the rest, the rest are all overtime dolls, as I call them. So next year, yeah, um, I'll definitely have less dolls, but that's perfectly fine with me. I just want to gradually build up my collection now and I don't want to make any more doll mis well any doll mistakes <laughs> if I can um reselling a doll just looks annoying I'm not saying impossible it just looks annoying um so I definitely am going to be very selective next year and not do um try not to do um impulsive um, doll buying. Um, though I love my doll chateau dolls, especially my doll chateau Pierre. He has grown on me like so fiercely. It's kind of crazy. Um, impulse buys are just not something I really want to make a habit of. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I know 
that on the list is at least one mini fee. Um, but here's the thing, I've always wanted it to be Aria, but now Merwin is like growing on me like so fiercely and I'm just like crap, I might have to try and get them both or decide which one of the two I really want. Um, I think I want to stick with Rhea, but like, I don't know, I can't get Merlin's face out of my head. So we'll see. We'll see on that one. Um, I don't have many big dolls to get. Um, I was looking at LeBron Latence, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, trying to get a Roderick, but I don't know if they're limited. If they were limited, if they were, that means I'm going to track them down secondhand, um, which would be hard, but his face is now in my head. I have to get him. Um, but I think that's all I have planned, really. I don't have many, and lots of dolls have dropped off the list, which I'm fortunate for because looking back on them, they wouldn't have fit, really. Um, and, uh, like, for instance, uh, the Bobi uh, Elena, um, I think she's off the list. I do, I wish I could still get her, but I don't think she'd fit in. Um, it looks like my dolls are trying to create a style or something, but, um, and like many dolls that at first I was like, oh, I need to get them. I have to have them, blah, blah, blah. They're kind of falling off the list. So we'll see what next year brings and I'll do an update then. So yeah, this is a small update video, but it's mostly to say happy birthday to my boy. He's my first boy and I love him. And, uh. I hope he stays with me many more years before anything happens to him. So far, yay, nothing's happened to him. I'm not feeling him. Because <laughs> I don't have any wood. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you if you watched this. And uh, sorry if it was rambly and I'm half asleep. So, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll talk to you guys later when I have more of an update or if we're any reason my uh, um, Doshi boys show up before I do my next update, there'll be doll theme video for sure on them. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you.